Oh, the, the Hurricane Sandy came and knocked down a lot of like your trees. Eleven of our trees. Eleven. Were, My God. Because some of the trees that were not knocked down. Yeah. Their root systems were affected, and the oh, tree wound I, oh, up rotting. Okay. So the trees that didn't get oh. knocked down. Wow, you really have it. Looks like you're running a farm back here. With all so that. We decided to go. Yeah. You know, I bring my mother every year to the okay. National Cherry Blossom Festival. The sun setting. Yeah, so. I'm not sure how many years she can actually do that right. trip in a wheelchair. So now she only has to come out her back door or right. just look out the window. And every one of these trees that you see with the yellow banner is yeah. a flowering. So come and tell me, you know, tree. which ones are which. It doesn't matter. I mean, well, they all have, I just, they all, they're all going to have different tags on them. This way we'll know which ones they are. Right. And we have the white. I wonder. I wonder if some grow quicker. Do cherry oh, yeah. trees well, grow at different different speeds depending on whether they're white or pink or this red? This is going to be mid spring. This is a pink tree. Uh -huh. Now these you may not recognize, but you should. These are the original trees that Japan sent to the United States, which surround the tidal basin in Washington D.C. Uh, for the National Cherry Blossom Festival. These are the Yoshino flowering cherry tree they're white with the little little pink fuchsia center yeah how many how many different varieties of cherry trees are there there are there are countless amounts we have uh, probably about five or six different ones back here this is the most common and the most beautiful for this region it's the Kwanzaa, and it grows in the most beautiful pink color and it lasts for about two and a half weeks and it blooms right around Mother's Day in this area which is May so if you look up this way it has that Horse wow, bridle, and bridle. you have a fire hydrant in the middle, so if there's, so drought, water if there's the a trees. drought, you can always come out in the middle of the night and water the trees. But they're huh? going to bloom in all uh -huh. different sections. So, And they, are they going to bloom at different times? Yeah. Do you have any idea? The tree closest to the house, the two closest to the house, are going to uh -huh. be the first bloomers, and they're going to bloom in the, the middle of March, and those right. will last for three weeks. Uh -huh. This tree will bloom in May uh, up till around Mother's Day, so she's going to have oh. March, April and May, this whole walkway just in different color blocks. Well, they should have, what do you call it, a bridal path? Because yeah. it reminds me of the bridal path in Central Park where the horse carriages go oh, through. Oh. Although it's much shorter and it oh, doesn't. Because I know your mother had a very devoted husband who she worshipped and everything. And, you know, we thought if anyone got married, they could take their wedding photos at the end of the pathway. So the bridal oh. aspects work for the, the wedding aspect, but it reminded us of the horse carriage path in Central well, we Park. We can start a business. We'll start running <laughs> out the bridal path, be wedded, be, be married. And well, the thing is to put a bench here. <laughs> yeah. So at the end of the walkway, you have a place to sit and admire all the trees while they're in blossom. Oh, that's fantastic. And it was planted this year yeah. on May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. So this will be, 2014 will be her first year of blossoms and we're hoping that they, they blossom literally the first year this will be the first year of blossoms in the yard so they haven't even so it had... takes a year for them to blossom that's all well we only put them in the ground in may so it is oh. had they haven't even been in the ground a full year okay. yet so this is them taking root for their first winter okay. and their first spring well, will be i'm gonna together. come i'm gonna come back to get an update and you won't have to but, travel for but, five and a half hours to washington dc are you gonna get video and send it to me or you can just watch the video. Okay, okay. Uh, but hopefully Thank Teresa you. still will be going to Washington, D.C. and looking out her back window to know what day she should Good. buy her bus ticket. Good. <laughs>